Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk with Josh Mason from Fame, Strength, and Conditioning and the job he does in Wilkesbury with athletes all over, men, women, girls, boys. And this weekend, the second annual NEPA High School Football Combine. Josh, I know you're real excited about this event. Uh, tell us about it this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Super excited. This is our second year around. Um, we're doing an NEPA High School Football Combine. Great opportunity, great platform for some high school football athletes to get out there and showcase their abilities. Well, student athletes are 9th through 12th grade get to do a little bit of everything, and uh, this is exciting to see and, and see who's the fastest or the strongest or you know can win different events and, and compete out there. Absolutely. Uh, we're hosting six events, um, and it's what you typically see in, in a combine, especially at the NFL level. Uh, so we're running a 40-yard dash, which is electric time. We're doing a 20-yard shuttle a three-cone drill, a bench press, a broad jump, and a vertical jump test. And uh, it, it's just a great great way to kind of uh, see what level these athletes are at. Josh, I'm sure it's pretty popular with student-athletes across northeastern Pennsylvania to kind of get out there and, and see where they're at as the combine in the NFL has become so popular over the years. And, and kids here in high school, they're, they're competing every single day. It's, it's definitely a specialty thing where, where you're playing football. You're putting a lot of time into it, and, and I know uh, you do more than just football, fame, strength, and conditioning, but uh, I'm sure it's, uh, it's one of the loves you have because that was something you excelled at when back when you were in high school. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and my thing is, is this. I want to bring something to the area that we don't have. And uh, bringing something like this combine uh, gives our athletes great exposure um, from this area, uh, gives them a great platform and opportunity to, uh, you know, reach different levels of, of different college uh, levels. Um, so with them coming out with this experience, you know, I, I hope they take advantage of this and, and, and get the, um, you know, the uh, – the attention they need. Josh, when you talk about uh, having student athletes at your training, and again, as I said, uh, you train more than just student athletes, but seeing kids dedicating their time and reaping the rewards, uh, you see it all year long of what you do there at Fame. Yes, um, like I said, this is our fourth year rolling as a gym, and it, and it's, it, it just gets better each year. Um, it's amazing the kind of athletes we get through our doors, and it's kind of you know the story where. You know, you got your average athletes, and then what's happening, I'm getting to train them and then my staff over two to three years, and then you see what they turn into, and, and that's the most rewarding thing. Um, so we absolutely love what we do, and I'm super passionate about this industry and, and what we got going on down at St. Trend. Josh, as you mentioned, uh, having athletes uh, that will listen to you, that respond to you, and, and over a course of time, and, and sometimes you're getting young, young athletes to kind of get a little bit more coordinated and, and figure things out. And Tell us about what age you start at and, and getting athletes uh, going early to where they're doing stuff a little bit better than the, uh, maybe the other athletes because there's competition out there. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think in, um, as of right now, we usually start our, our program at with 13-year-olds. Um, just this past season, we took in like a 56th grade group. And you know what? That, w that was an amazing experience for us. Uh, these are kids that are, you know, just developing. And it it's just about bringing them in, going over the basics and, and touching on the balance coordination and, and proper mechanics. And if we can get kids that young, um, you know, developing properly, just imagine how, you know, much the benefit reaps as they get older. Talk about some of the things you like to do when you're working with student athletes as far as some different drills or, or different things for strength. And, of course, uh, whether it's plyometrics, what are some things that you've concentrated on over you, over the years? See, some of the things I like to do is um, I, I try to find some of the strengths of, of the athletes themselves. And um, when we can get an athlete in and, and go through a drill or, or exercise or whatnot, and they are able to see the improvements in their jumps but from over time, that's probably the best part about doing any drill or, or, or any uh, exercise. Uh, once we implement, you know, proper mechanics and, um, you know, foundational uh, components, it, it all works out for them. Josh, if people want to come out this weekend and check out the second annual NEPA High School Football Combine, open to the public to come watch it. Absolutely. Um, I encourage the, the uh, public to come out and, and, you know, watch these young athletes put a show on out there. You know, it's, it's our second year doing it, and we hope to just keep going bigger and bigger. 
we're getting a little popularity out there, um, kind of getting attention out in the Delaware and New Jersey area. So, you know, that was awesome to hear. Uh, we want these kids to come out here, compete, and have some fun. You know, there's going to be some college contacts between these combines. So, you know, we're hoping, um, you know, the platform's there for them. And the day is Sunday. How about the time and the location? Yeah, it's uh, Sunday, June 14th. We're at the Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium. That's Myers Football Stadium. Our check-in time's at 11 a.m. Uh, 12 p.m. we'll probably start the combine. We'll go through a warm-up and then break up our groups and uh, start the event. High noon this Sunday. Check out the second annual NEPA High School Football Combine. Josh Mason from Fame, Strength, and Conditioning. I want to thank you for your time and continued good work there and what you guys are doing. John, thanks again for the opportunity. And, again, if anybody wants to pre-register for the Combine, you can also go on to nepafootballcombine.eventzilla.net to pre-register for the event. Still not too late if you'd like to get registered today. The event happens on Sunday at 1 o'clock. The second annual NEPA High School Football Combine here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.